wonderful tomorrow Just a dream away Yeah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. <laughs> what year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. And believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. And moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country, and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers in North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot and just three buckets of coal. Oh boy, it sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that, holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog Rover here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir, we've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, mm -hmm. I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene, no more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets to the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Now it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. Well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like... Like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. Yes, dear. The ovens don't just clean themselves, you know. I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get the laundry off the line before it starts raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. Sam, Boy, look at it come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, wee, look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. It's not a toy, you know. Ooh la la, so that's little Egypt doing the hoochie-coochie, eh, Dad? Isn't she a knockout? She's the star of the new World's Fair in St. Louis, and... <clears throat> and you put that away before your mother finds it. Aw, oh, Dad. You heard me. Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now, that is something. It plays music right here in our home. Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic you're taking Mother out for Valentine's dinner this evening. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic as yours and Mother. Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter. You hear me? Yes, Papa. Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow and tomorrow is just a dream away. It's a dream come true for you and me So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Just a dream away